Hello everyone, back again on this channel. We know that gasoline is the fuel so that your vehicle's engine can start. To regulate gasoline so that it can be supplied to the engine, there is a fuel system. In motorbikes, there are two types of fuel systems used, namely the carburetor system and the injection system. So, what is the difference between these two systems? First, from how they work. These two systems, the carburetor is a conventional fuel system that still uses the Bernoulli effect. This is the effect of decreasing pressure in the flow of gas or fluid. So, when air flows in the intake, there is a decrease in pressure that sucks gasoline so that gasoline can mix with the air going to the intake. Meanwhile, the injection system no longer uses the Bernoulli effect. Injection already uses real-time calculations to determine the volume of gasoline needed by the engine. The injection system will calculate how much air volume enters the combustion chamber, how much the gas opening angle is, the engine temperature, and the piston position. So, which is superior? It is clear the injection system is superior because the carburetor only uses the difference in pressure, while the injection system considers more variables. So, the level of gasoline mixed into the intake air is certainly more accurate. In this injection system, it has an impact on efficient engine performance, more fuel efficient, less power, and cleaner emissions. Second, in terms of maintenance. Many say that the injection system is complicated to maintain. In fact, in my opinion, the injection system is more durable because from many experiences, motorbikes with injection systems have more stable performance even if they are not serviced. This is because the injection system has more durable mechanical components. However, this does not mean that the injection system is maintenance-free. The injection system really needs optimal electricity, so motorbikes that already have injection must have a healthy battery. This is different from the carburetor, which does not need electricity at all, so the carburetor continues to work optimally. In terms of the maintenance process, it is true that the injection system is more difficult because we need special tools to clean the injector and adequate knowledge regarding the injection system on each motorbike. Each motorbike has a different injection scheme. This makes us, the owners of injection motorbikes, unable to service our own motorbikes, aka we have to go to a repair shop. Whereas with the carburetor, it is easier. We as owners can also disassemble it ourselves without fear of making mistakes because the carburetor mechanism on a motorbike is fairly simple. We only need a screwdriver to disassemble and clean it. Finally, which is easier to customize? The carburetor is easier to tinker with because, as I said before, this system uses mechanical components. So, we can adjust the fuel settings, whether we want it to be economical or wasteful, to increase engine power. We also only need to replace the main port channel with a larger size, and, of course, we can replace this ourselves. Meanwhile, in the injection system, to customize, we have to remap the ECU. What is remapping? Simply put, this is the process of reprogramming the ECU so that we can set the fuel supply to be even more so that its performance increases. However, we cannot do it ourselves. Only experienced people can do this remapping safely. So, those are the three main differences between the injection system and the carburetor. Hopefully, this will increase our insight.